What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another sauce review. This one is distributed and sold exclusively by, you guessed it, Trader Joe's in Monrovia, California. It's a product of South Africa. And it is Trader Joe's Peri Peri sauce with fermented and dried chilies. <clears throat> I love the flask bottles. Now this is a 6.76 ounce bottle, 200 milliliters. I think I paid $3.99 for this or $2.99. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been on the shelf for like six months. Um, but um, <clears throat> a nice color to it. Looks the same on cam as it does in person. Um, and we'll uh, read in the back of it. Um, well, nutrition, 40 servings. Teaspoon is a serving. 10 calories is a serving. So the whole bottle is 400 calories. Uh, and the ingredients are lemon juice, water, Fermented chilies, which is chilies and salt, sunflower oil, garlic, salt, dried chili flakes, and xanthan gum. May contain traces of soy. So we're gonna. Oh, their labels do come off nice and easy. I will say that. Awesome. The metal cap too. Pretty cool. So uh, let's give us a good shaky shake. Go. No flow restrictor, love it. Now we're gonna give it a smell test. Eh. Smells really bad since it's a condiment with rich complex heat. Eh. It really doesn't smell hot at all. I mean I've had other peri peri sauces, uh, let me make sure the palate is cleansed. Make sure that doesn't affect the flavor. Um, because they did just eat something, but I don't know. I just I guess it's the chilies I smell. Because that's what I get. I think it's fermented chilies and I don't know. What else? Maybe sunflower oil? Because it doesn't smell like lemon or nothing. I don't know. We're gonna see what it tastes like though. Give it a pour. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we go from Trader Joe's, their peri peri sauce with fermented and dried chilies. Cheers. That's a really weird flavor. It almost tastes salty at first, but then it must be the chilies they use. The fermented chilies. I'm getting a little bit of lemon juice and just fermented chilies. Um, Peri Peri's are my favorite sauces, but my bottle. It almost has the consistency and tongue feel of a wing sauce. <clears throat> it does have some nice heat to it though, I give it that. Like my heat's at about a two, two and a half. It's pretty good. The lips are burning and everything. But the flavor is just not there. It says complex heat. Yeah, there's sure ain't no complex flavor. It, it, Yeah, I am um, not a fan. Um, let me give it one more fair shake. Give it a fair shake. But uh, yeah. Yeah, if it didn't have the seeds in it. <clears throat> I would think this was a wing sauce. Um, it's okay. I won't buy it again. The heat, like I said, it's about a two, two and a half. I like the heat, but the flavor just ain't there. I'm giving it a four out of ten. Uh, kind of funny. I've tried two. The last two sauces I've tried from them, I haven't really liked. So, uh, excuse me. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. 
I mean, it's like three bucks or four bucks. If you want to try to go for it, I personally wouldn't recommend it. It's just a nice heat with just a, I don't know, just not a good, not a good flavor. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's, eh, it is what it is, I guess. Trader Joe's Peri Peri Sauce. <clears throat> I'm going to say no-go. Like I say, two, two and a half on heat, but four on a flavor. So, with that said, if you enjoyed this review, see you next time.